Good morning, everyone. I hope you've been keeping well. Um, I'm here coming to you from isolation because I'm just finishing off my first bout of COVID. Um, we thought that we were going to, oh, well, we, we'd got through this this large hump, but no, it managed to get us. So um, if I'm sounding a bit croaky, that's because I'm still getting over it. So feeling really good besides the croaky voice and the snotty old nose. But anyway, you don't really need to know about that. So while I've been in isolation, I've been having a bit of a play and I've been thinking I really need to get rid of some of my scraps and some of the stuff that I've had in my little stash for quite a long time. So hence I came up with this little card here. So used up lots of scraps and I had some um, some really pretty, I don't know if you can see it very well here, but pinky purple glitter that I wanted to get rid of, but you should have seen me. It was in an old plastic container. I've um, gone to press on the container and the container was so old, it was so brittle that it's exploded everywhere. So you can see Lucy in a puff of purpley pink glitter. It was just everywhere. So have that little image in your head for the rest of the day. I'm sure that'll put a smile on your face. So what we're going to do is use these close to my heart little scraps. I had all these scraps left over from making up this page here. So to make the little arrows, um, we had to cut down, like we cut pieces into rectangles, but then had to cut a little bit off each side of the rectangle. So I thought, oh, look at all that stuff there. Let's, let's come up with a card. So that was originally the pieces of paper that I came up with, but then I wanted card that would match the pinky purple. So I've put those aside and these are for what we're going to make up today. So what you need is I've cut these. So this is the double-sided sticker paper and this is just a piece of leftover card. So again, it's a great way of getting rid of your leftover card stock or those pieces of paper that you really don't like, like that really doesn't float my boat. But so this is what I'm saying is it's a great way of getting rid of your scrap bits and pieces. So all you're going to do is I've cut this to, I'm pretty sure, look, if you've got these in sheets, I'd probably cut them into, into quarters. Um, this one I think I cut down a bit more. Just because you probably want the piece of card that you're putting your double-sided sticker paper on to be just a little bit bigger. I've made a mistake here and I've cut them exactly the same. But it just makes it a little bit easier to try and separate. So what you get to separate your double-sided sticker paper once you've put it on. So you're basically going to lay it on and it also gives you a bit of wriggle room if you don't get it on exactly. So just, I tend to put one corner down, measure that up, and then if you've got your measurements correctly, that should go. So you can see here, I've gone over just a little bit, but that's that's not going to be a grand problem because I'm going to cut this down a little bit more so I've got a bit more of my white border. So it just gives me a bit of a leeway if I don't get that sticker paper down properly. So now what we're going to do is just get rid of the backing on the sticker paper. As long as I don't just give that a bit more of a burnish. Let's see if it'll come off. That's it. So that way, if you've got, if you have your backing paper a little bit um, wider, then you'll be able to get it up easier get the backing off easier, I suppose is what I'm trying to say. So now that's going to be, that's really sticky. Now all you're doing here, now I've already um, blended the picked raspberry around some of these pieces. Basically what you're going to do, you don't want to um, leave it, this piece showing. You want to have it right to the, right to the edge. And you just head it into the middle somewhere. And you're just going to be pretty random. So just, and you're going to leave a little space 
because I'm not going to use glitter today. Well, you'd leave a space if you're going to use glitter, but I'm actually going to see what it looks like with um, embossing powder. So just put your random bits on. Oops, I haven't gone around that with the pink. Oh no, I like that side better. I like that, so I'm going to make that a big bit. And that one we haven't blended around, so I just finished that off. So you're basically just blending the long sides. Don't worry about the ends because you're going to be cutting them off anyway. So it doesn't have to be exactly in the middle. You can see my little points aren't meeting up exactly because you're going to put the little doily over the top of that. So basically just keep going around. And especially if you've got double-sided paper, you can use choose to use one side or the other. I'm just going to keep with the the pinky colour side. It's already done, so you're just plonking that down. left over so to create the triangles what I've done is just cut a long rectangular bit so I think I cut it about an inch and a half by four inches and then you're just cutting across that diagonally so um, very easy And we're going to have enough pieces. Oh, that's probably a bit big, but I think that will look all right. So there's our piece ready to go. So now what I'm going to do is just trim that all off. So I think I can put that in the paper trimmer in the guillotine here. So just lining it up to cut all those edges off. of other little bits and pieces there that I'm not going to use again. <laughs> I like saving scraps, but I'm not that particular. Okay, so now we're just going to pop this in our little tray. Pop the embossing powder. So I'm just using silver, so you could use any colour. Just something that will go with the papers that you're using. Okay, so that all looks pretty covered. And we've just got our trusty heat tool here. And we're just going to start off in one corner. and just let the heat tool do its job. 
I'll just follow that ray. So just start off in one area. Actually, what I'm going to do first, though, is just press them all down. Because if they start to lift up, that's not going to work. Just give that a good press down. I don't know if you can see it changing or you can. That's good. I do love watching embossing powder change. Sorry for the noise, girls. Almost done. So whenever you emboss, I always um, like to just pop it in the sun make sure that is all all worked okay so now just give it a bit of a press down oh there's a bit there Okay, so there's the piece there. So I think that's quite pretty. Now I'm just going to go around the edge. So what you could do is you could dip, dip the sides in your embossing ink pad and silver the sides, or I'm just going to... Um, oh, actually, no, I need to cut it down first. So I'm just going to cut it down to measure first. So I'm just going to cut this down to 13.8. I'm just going to cut down all four sides. So 13.8 by 9.5. each side just to make sure they're nice and even. And now I'll go around it with the pink. So just putting a little pink edge on that. So just tying that all in together. Okay, so, oh, the other thing I wanted to show you was this is the new doily die that's come out in May. It's absolutely beautiful. It's so intricate. And I'm finding um, that the close to my heart dies, I really can't fault there. I've put, I've used this through the um, electric Gemini and it just cuts it out beautifully, leaving a lot of the little bits and pieces behind on the Gemini cutting plate. So you're not even having to poke it out through the, um, through the die or the actual die cut 
itself. So you can see this is the little one that we're going to use here today. This is the larger one where you might have seen the poppy cards that I created, um, I think it was last week. So they're just using the bigger die, so just the half die there, a quarter of the large die there. And then I've actually used it as a little border here. So it's it's very versatile. I really love it and I love the intricacy of it. To me, it takes me back to my childhood. I used to love playing with my nonna's doilies and rearranging them and, and had a great time with them, her lovely crocheted doilies. So it really takes me back. So you can use the doilies separately or you can actually cut them together to have a really pretty die okay so that's the lovely die so just let me know if you would like to get your hands on a set of the doily dies um the other thing is we've got a stamp spectacular going on for the month of june so let me know if you want to um get your hands on any stamps because the majority of stamps and matching thin cuts are at a very reduced price so I've put a post in recently and I'll do another little live about that as well and giving you some more information. So now all we're going to do is fold the card in half. Give that a nice score down with the bone scorer just so that it's not flipping up at you. So it sits nice and flat and then it's just for... Four bits of tape. <coughs> or however you want to attach it. I tend to use tape because I just find it quick and easy. And I hate getting glue all over my fingers. I do like a bit of messy fun, but glue I just now yeah, just work out which way I want to do it so I want to do it like that because I want to put the little doily up here so that's just going to go on there and again with just a little bit of tape and I'm just going to put a bit of tape in the center solid bit And then we're just going to stamp. I've just got this little happy birthday from the gnome party range. Now, I find with the rubber stamps, um, I used to always say, put your stamp on the table, take your ink pad. But I'm finding with the acrylic pad, acrylic stamps, it's actually, they tend to work better if you actually press them into the ink pad especially these lovely um, close to my heart ink pads. They're lovely and large, got a great area. So then it's just stamping into the middle of the little circle. Oops, and of course I've missed a bit. Oh, I don't know how that happened. That's why it's great when you've got two sides. make sure that's oh yes must have just been me so I turn that oh. oh wow actually let's see if we can line it up again that's a great thing of acrylic stamps let's see if I can line it up oh how about that guys didn't do too bad a job for lining that up that's the advantage of the acrylic stamp so then we're just going to add a little pink edge to that. Isn't it nice when things turn out for you, especially when you're demonstrating them? <laughs> Excellent. Now, you could put that flat, which I think I'm going to do, or you could raise it, raise it up. So you could use the magic mount to, to bring it up. Oh, I think it looks nice just like just like that so I'm just going to pop it on flat oops 
Better get it right way around, hey? And just centre that. So there you've got two little cards. I'd love to see what you come up with. Um, so please post your your creations in this thread because I'd really love to see your designs. Anyway, I hope you have a wonderful day and we'll catch you in a fortnight with some other little creation. Okay, take care everyone. Bye.